Ah, oh, hello everybody, it is me, Eric with a K. And I'm so excited to see you all again as we are going to continue the story, Rosea Dreams. And now we are on chapter 12. And the title of this chapter is No Travelers Without a Cause. After Carl had taught them about colors, he changed the topic. So, what do you want to do? Rosea was still thinking of the hidden beauty that she might have missed out on for just not looking in the grey spots. She answered without giving much thought to the question, which might have been a bit lazy of her. What do we want to do about what? She bit her lip. That had been impolite. The man Carl did not seem to mind. He simply went on and explained his question. The two of you have made a great leap already. You discovered how to move from your dream to another. It is not by chance that you arrived in this dream. By those who know about me and who know that dreams are where I exist, they call me the Dream King. I do not reign, but I live here. You actively shared a dream world and grew it together. That is already rare for a world that is not shared as a work of fiction. At the work of fiction part, he had lost Rosea. But that he was called the Dream King and that he was known was most interesting. This means that others could also move between dreams, or maybe just Carl could. Unfazed by or unaware of losing her for a moment, Carl continued. You have now learned to move between dreams, and I would like to know what you want to do with this ability. Instead of finally answering the question, Rosea said, So you are a king? He laughed. No, I am really not. I am called the Dream King at times, and dreams are my domain. Rosea asked, What is a domain? Gideon looked like he wanted to open his mouth and explain it to her, but she shot him a glance, and he thought better of it. The question had not been to Big Mouth, it had been to the Dream King, who sucked now on his lip to gather his thought for a good explanation. Let me better explain what I meant, than go into explaining the word. Dreams being my domain means I know my way around dreams. Rosea said, okay. Gideon looked at her with clear doubt shown in his eyes. She rolled her eyes at him and said, it is easy. It is like at home. In my room, I know where everything is so much so that I can find my way even if it is dark. My room is my domain. Gideon admitted, that was surprisingly accurate. In this admission, Big Mouth might have stumbled over his own words. Rosea was not happy and said, surprisingly, he hastily added, in a good way, in, in a good way. Rosea let it go. She remembered that all this had started with a question. Your Majesty, what was the question again? The Dream King did not repeat the question. Instead, he said, Please, do not say your majesty. Just call me Carl. Rosea explained, That would not be proper. You are an adult, and we are children. We should not call you by your first name alone. She looked at Gideon, who nodded in agreement. The Dream King gave in by offering, My family name is Schultz. She thought about this. She did not like the sound and was not sure if she would pronounce it right. So she said, Dream King or Your Majesty works for us. Do not worry, Your Majesty. The Dream King heaved in a big sigh and continued. The question was, what do you want to do? Rosea said, I do not understand. The Dream King explained, Dreams are created by wishes and feelings. When it comes to feelings, these may be good or bad. The bad feelings create nightmares. Dreams are not just created by wishes and feelings. Wishes and feeling are also what gives you power over the dreams. I should maybe have asked, what do you wish to do? Rosea was still thinking about it and how important it might be when Big Mouth interrupted her thoughts. So, Dream King, what happens if we do not actively wish for something? The Dream King answered, You will lose control and you will lose meaning. Big Mouth looked shocked. 
I sure do not want to lose control. But to lose meaning is worse. Rosea looked at him and her face conveyed the meaning of a question mark. Gideon explained. Meaning is important. It does not just tell you why you are. It tells you who you are. It is extremely important to know who you are. Without it, you are nobody. To be nobody sounded scary. Rosea did not want to be nobody. She did not want to be nobody! She wanted to ask questions or, or to scream, but she did not know what the questions were and she would feel silly to scream when she did not fully understand what she was screaming about. At that moment, Carl Schulz, the Dream King, said something she needed to hear. He said something that had a lot of power. It was an assurance that she would be all right. He said, don't worry. He continued, you did great so far. You accomplished a lot. The two of you created great harmony in sharing a dream. Your together land is a good dream, a powerful dream. You will find out in due time what you wish to do. You must give it some time and keep looking. You must ask questions to get answers, and you must look to find a path. You found my place because I wanted you to find it. I could wish for you to come because I knew that you were out there in your own dream. You did not know of me. That is why I asked you what you wish to do. Doors between dreams work only if they have a destination. Without a destination, you will arrive nowhere. To know what you want will give you a destination. Rosea was no longer scared, but she was a little sad now. Does that mean that we cannot travel to other dreams if we do not know what we want? The Dream King nodded. Without a destination, every path does only lead you back to where you have already been. Gideon tried to cheer her up with, We only have to decide where we want to go and we will get there. The Dream King assured her, That is right. All you need to find your path is to decide on a destination and I will help you with your decision, if you are okay with that. She was more than okay with some help. Rosea did not want to be lost. She did, want, she did want to go somewhere. She did want to go somewhere, you know! Where she would go, her dreams would show her soon. She was now certain of that. How did she know? She had learned that her wishes had powers in her dreams. She wished to know... She also wished to think about it. That she wished to think more about what she had learnt meant she would soon leave the dream to give her the time to think. There was one more thing she needed to do before waking up. The Dream King had been nice to them and taught them a lot about colors and the power of wishing. She turned to him and said, Kea Leboha. Gideon said, Toda Raba. And Carl Schulz answered with, they did not really need to understand the words. Rosea and Gideon were thankful that there was someone to help them, an adult who understood their journey through the worlds of dreams. And Carl Schulz was happy to help. And there we are at the end of chapter 12. And it is starting to get a little more exciting. What are they going to discover? I hope you will come back and find out soon and... Remember that any time and any day you can go onto the Character Stories for Children channel and you will find stories for children that different characters are saying. And there are so many stories. There are more than 60 stories there now for you to go and watch. So if there are any you have missed, make sure that you go and catch up. Ask your parents to subscribe to the channel so you can watch every time a new story comes out. Anyway, that is all from me for today from Eric Vizek. Bye-bye.